A Philadelphia police officer has just been released from the hospital after a shootout in Holmesburg. Action News was there as a procession of officers left Jefferson Torresdale Hospital in the last hour. He was one of two officers shot and injured in yesterday's burst of violence. The second officer is already at home recovering. Monday night, Shari is off. Christy Leto is joining us. And the big story in Action News is the road to recovery for two Philadelphia police officers who were injured in a shooting yesterday. That's right. They were investigating a report of shots fired, and minutes later, they were hit by gunfire themselves. Action News reporter John Paul is live at Jefferson Torresdale Hospital in the far northeast with the very latest. John? Yeah, Christy, Rick, yeah, both officers are now out of the hospital after that shootout on Sunday. The last officer to leave left about 45 minutes ago from Jefferson Torresdale here. There was a long procession of police cars to guide him out. We have now learned this is the second time that he's been shot in the head while on duty. A procession of police cars exited Jefferson Torresdale Hospital in the Northeast today, carrying an officer who cheated death twice. Two officers were shot and wounded after a shootout in the city's Holmesburg section early Sunday morning. You can see officers responding to the area of Frankfurt and Welsh in this surveillance video we obtained today. Moments later, gunfire erupted. One bullet grazed an officer on the nose. The other officer was shot in the head. Both were rushed to the hospital. We've now learned the same officer was shot in the head while on duty a few years ago and recovered. We're told he was hit essentially in the same spot on Sunday. Both of them are heroes, but, you know, for someone to come back from a first shooting and then endure this, you know, um, it, it, takes a, it takes its toll on them, though. Here's what we know. Police were responding to a call of shots fired near Cotman in the boulevard. Officers spotted a gray Dodge Ram pickup that matched the description of the shooter. Police say the driver sped off, sparking a short pursuit, and later rammed a patrol car. That's when investigators say the 40-year-old suspect opened fire on the officers. Four officers return fire, hitting the suspect. You can see his pickup riddled with bullets. He's in critical condition. And now both officers who were hit are home recovering. It's too often that this is happening. So, uh, you know, it, we take it personal, we take it professional. You know, we're out there doing our job protecting the uh, citizens of Philadelphia, you know, and, and things like this happen to our officers constantly. Now, police have not yet released those officers' names. There's a 48-hour wait period. That is standard procedure, so we should learn the names sometime tomorrow. We also do not yet have the name of the suspect who remains in the hospital. Live in the Northeast, John Paul, Channel 6 Action News. Christy? Yeah, these officers put their lives on the line every day. So glad that they're finally home recovering. John, thank you.